Okay, here's the map that I showed you a few minutes ago. It's been soaking in this water for about probably 10 minutes now, and I just want to show you that uh, despite that, I can rub it with my fingers. I get no no running of the inks. It's, it's completely locked in there. And by the way, I printed this map uh, a couple hours ago just on my inkjet printer. The, the quality of it is excellent. Uh, obviously, that is somewhat determined by the printer that you have, and I use a pretty good printer, but uh, just the, the ability to create a map that's waterproof, and I'm gonna bring it out here, shake it off a little bit, get the water off of it. I'll show you that this thing is just about indestructible. It's, uh, it's a type of a plastic, actually, that is virtually tear-proof, and just just great stuff you don't have to do any further waterproofing you don't have to carry it around in a plastic bag and it's completely customized you can see on this one that i've added some symbols on here and in, a, in my next segment i'm going to pull my computer over and i'm going to show you exactly how we go about creating a map like this with the topo software so this is what the topo software looks like running on my computer and yes, I know there are better ways to demonstrate software than by videoing a screen, but I don't know how to do it, and I'm not a computer guy, so hopefully this will be good enough. One disclaimer before I go any further, and that is, as it says up here, this map is for demonstration purposes only. This is public land. This is the Chief of Wildlife Management Area near Nashville, Tennessee. I will tell you that, that the area that I'm going to show, I'm using just for demonstration purposes. I've never set foot on it. If you want to go out there and look around and see if you find the stuff that I point out, if it looks like it, it would be probably the greatest coincidence of all time because I just made this stuff up. So um, if any of you guys out there hunt this particular area, hopefully I won't have lots of people tramp around your hunting area. I didn't mean to. Like I said, never been here before. But... It, uh, it should, it'll serve my purpose as well for showing you some of the features of this software. Okay, the, the basic tools that you need sit along the top of the screen up here. And uh, basically all you do is, is select a tool that you want to use with your mouse. And then we're going to bring it down here and use it. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and show you how a couple of these tools work. The first tool I'm going to talk about is the route tool. And what it allows me to do is to draw a line. So for instance, this red line that I've drawn here has sort of an Im imaginary boundary line just for the sake of assumption that, that this was a piece of private property that I wanted to, for my map, create a boundary line on. That would be the tool that I would use for that. I also used it um, here. I've drawn in areas that I, that I use to mark fields. So let's say that there's a field in this area right here that I want to mark on my map as well. Maybe it's just not shown um, as well. Actually what I'm going to do is let's say that this is a cedar thicket because that's going to allow me to do two things. All right so let's just say that basically the cedar thicket kind of follows this contour right here and maybe it runs over here into the edge of this field. Okay, once I do my second click to close out the line, it's going to bring up this dialog box here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new style that I'm going to use to designate cedar thickets. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a style name. Okay, we're going to call that a cedar thicket. And then we're going to choose the type of line that we're going to use for that. So let's pick out something. Let's just um, let's make cedar thickets a purple line. And um, I can choose the line style. So I can hairline, thin, medium, thick, hairline, dashed, thin, dashed. Let's just keep it as a thin purple line. Okay, so now you can see I've added right here... Um, a line around what I'm designating as a cedar thicket here. Another use for the route tool is to measure distance along a travel route. 
Let's say I'm interested in knowing if I were to walk from the road here to the back property line back here, what that distance would be. You can use your route tool, just click on the starting location and draw your line along the travel route. Looks like I made a little detour there. On the second click, it's going to bring up this dialog which shows me that the length of that line is 1.13 miles. And I could name it if I want to, but I'm not going to. And this little box gives me uh, access to kind of a neat little feature. I don't use it a lot actually, but um, you might find it interesting. This little box that says 3D flyover, when I click it, it's going to give me on the left side of my screen a, a sort of bird's eye view of the route. So you can see that it's it's following the route that I just traced and it's showing me the, the terrain features in three dimensions. Over here on the right hand side of the screen, there was an arrow that traveled along to show me exactly where I was. Now once it's done, I'm in the 3D mode and I can do some things with it by, by holding down the right mouse button, I can, I can rotate my view around so that I can look. It, this is actually looking back up the route that I came. I can look off to the side. And I can also move the starting point by taking my cursor here and by clicking the left button, I can move the arrow here to where I started and then by moving the right button, I can look over here towards that field and I can change, if I want, I can change the tilt so that I can look down. I can change the elevation so that I kind of get down in the train or I can get way up above it and tilt down and look at it. So it's kind of a neat feature if you're pretty accustomed to looking at three at uh, topographic maps. It probably is not super useful to you, but um, kind of cool nonetheless. Anyway, just wanted to show you that. All right, the next tool I want to talk about is the symbol tool, and that's denoted by this little push pin icon up here. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to zoom in again so that you can see a little bit better what I'm getting ready to do. I use this tool for putting custom symbols on the map. And you can see here that I have some stars here, and I've got a, an X, and I've got a plus sign. And all these things mean something. Down here in the corner of my map, I've created a legend for what all of those symbols mean. And the reason why I do this is because when I go out on a scouting trip, I'll collect data about what I'm finding, and primarily during the, the pre-season when I'm out looking for future feeding spots, oak trees that are, that are uh, producing a good crop of acorns, persimmon trees that have a lot of fruit on them, anything that I think the deer might be coming back to later. I, I can't remember that even the next day sometimes, uh, much less weeks or months later. So I want to I note it on my map. And that's where, where my map becomes sort of a, a living, breathing kind of thing where um, it, it's everything that I'm learning throughout the course of the year I'm putting on this map and it, it becomes much more useful as I go.